Saturday and Sunday, March 23rd and 24th, a very exciting day for me because I have a child that was born on March 23rd, so I love this day. And Harry Houdini was born on March 24th. We're talking about magic, not just your child, but a real live magician. If you look up Harry Houdini. Now, the good news is the moon is in Scorpio and the sun is in Aries. That combination of Aries-Scorpio is about the most intense physical energy you can get. So we've just finished all this Pisces. It's been going on and on and on about dreaming and staying inside and being an introvert and dealing with now the sun's in Aries and it says, get up. Aries people have excessive energy. They have ridiculous humor systems and they love to disrupt. Go figure. So I remember my kid as a little boy having toys and then breaking them taking people and hitting them, running into things and breaking because they have an excessive amount of energy. But when you add Scorpio, woohoo! now we're talking chi. So during Saturday this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, it's a great time. Spring is here. We've passed the equinox. We're asking you to get up. We want you to jump up and down and really give yourself permission. So what if Mercury's retrograde? Oh, it just flew by. So what if things are going backwards and things are breaking? That's when you test the character of who you really are. It's so true. When you really get to know someone is when things go wrong. Aries, they just love watching people. They're really nosy. They watch people and they sort of laugh when you're upset. It's kind of a bad quality at one level, but it's because they're so entertained by chi and by energy that when it starts to grow and gets weird, they finally feel like life is starting. When it's boring and steady and dreamy and quiet, they're like, are you kidding me? Astrology just wanted me to tell you, when the sun is in Aries and the moon's in Scorpio, you got to get up. 